been unbearable. Welcome to Las Peliculas Sabados Gigantes at the Cine Marijuana Theater. That's right. The, the shitlords of cinematic scrutiny. Um, we watch movies and talk about them and write about them sometimes. Filmstain.com. And we are here today to talk about the latest entry in our series, our Cinema Under Glass series, where we look at a theme of films. Uh, Animal Antagonist is what we're doing right now. And we are here to watch a film from 1978 called Long Weekend. Long Weekend. Long Weekend. <laughs> so, uh, clockwise, starting with me, I'm Ed. I'm Kenzie. I'm Condi. I'm Raul. I'm Chris. All right. Uh, yeah, so uh, Long Weekend is a film that was selected by Zeb, none other than the Cine Marijuana Theater's own uh, Zeb. And uh, it, uh, Kenzie. You want to give us a synopsis on this film? Mm -hmm. This film was long and boring mm. from what I've heard because I haven't seen it. Oh, that's oh. right. You weren't here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Excellent. I'm assuming there's some kind of animal antagonist. I think it's actually about like, aren't aren't a group of people somewhere and yeah, then they it. get stuck there and then like, yeah. isn't it about an island? Uh -huh. It's about an island in and the And then these radioactive reaches. monkeys like yeah. take over. They got to grab him. And they have to survive. Uh, big time. Yeah. Did you, now knowing what you know, do you, do you like the description of the film? <laughs> Sure, it's but, good. but good. except everyone's talked shit about this movie. I haven't. I enjoyed this it, film. Well, uh, okay. Oh, well, yes. I haven't. Uh, I actually haven't heard anybody's opinion on I this yet. I think you myself. said it was. Oh, oh. it was out. like you compared it to my movie. <laughs> oh shit! But I, but I like you your said movie. you would have hated it to me. You said I would have oh, hated yeah, you it. Oh hated yeah, it. no, yeah, you, you would have hated the hell out of this movie. <laughs> you yeah. definitely would hate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, does anybody want to give us an actual synopsis? Uh, this movie's pretty much about a guy trying to save his marriage to a beating of a woman. <laughs> yeah, it really was all him, huh? Trying to save the yeah, day. Yeah, no, absolutely. And um, Ooh, so they decide to. He decides to go away for the weekend instead of going away with other friends of theirs to like some sort of posh resort. Um, they he finds like this hidden beach where or he thinks everybody's going to be, but it ends up just being the two of them, and then wackiness yes. ensues. It was sacred. All right. Uh, so I guess before we do three minutes, three words on this, uh, Kenzie, you didn't see the film, but if you had to be stuck in a situation like that, who would you want to fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. I don't know. Okay. You get to choose between Edward, Jacob, or Hagrid for uh, for fudging. For fudging. Oh, Jacob. <laughs> Are you a Jacob girl? Yeah. And, and which one no, would you shunt it. with? Yeah. Ew. Who would you shunt? Like a power shunt. I hated that movie, too. <laughs> Which is I weird, because like... that movie's really good. Yeah, no, that movie was awesome. No. <laughs> a power shunt. <laughs> I hate shunt. A shunt way. I hate, I shunt. Shunt. I hate shunted that bitch. Uh, all right. Um, well, then, let's just uh, get to it, shall we? Who wants to start three words, three minutes, three words? Underberg? <laughs> oh, boy. I... I yeah, Thunderbird. I don't know if I can Spread do another those one. Cheeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you can. You, you, you still have a Coca Cola chaser. Yeah. You, in fact, in fact, you've got to hand them out. I, I can accept that. I'm going. You yes. have to drink one. Oh, please! As much <laughs> shit as you gave everyone about the cores thing at the Harry Potter party, uh, you better drink one, one of those right Nobody now. Nobody even had an extra beer. He, so that means Chris better drink one. Chris is you allergic. Didn't even He'll drink shit his as pants. much as I thought you'd drink. Well, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't care if you guys see me shit my pants. I've seen Chris have an allergic reaction to it. Um, Underberg feels good on your you thighs. Seen it up close and personal. <laughs> yes, I actually do. Well, he, had, he had to salve. spot Chris. He's seen it from under. He's seen the Berg. <laughs> he, he had to he had to manage his undercarriage <laughs> from the Underberg. Uh, okay. Chris. All right. Well, you know what? This is. Uh, oh, and I have some notes for this film too. All right. Well, Underberg deliciousness. Yeah. Dude, we are going to have that yeah. truck in no time with that gigantic case we bought. You you Underberg people are like the smartest fuckers ever. You are like the the carnies of like, the, you know, the drinking world taking over or Marlboro what? left off. Sponsor. Because yeah. by the time you like spend all the money on the Underberg of how much that little Underberg truck costs. They don't sell it. <laughs> 
Well, they don't they don't sell those little stuffed animals you at the carny side. I didn't you think to it. look on eBay. <laughs> it's not the selling. same. It's, it's not the you same. You know what? It's not the same. God damn it! Same. It's not the same. Listen to this. There goes the cap. <laughs> Underberg, <laughs> where the wild goose goes. Uh, There's some bar out there that just has like a thousand of them. No, they probably just throw them out and they don't even think well, about I did it. See yeah, some there's just bar. like a dumpster filled with them. I did see some bar <laughs> uh, Instagram a photo of the they, there's some bar in, in Oregon that serves them. Like they, they give you like this glass of like crushed up ice and the Underberg comes a little bottle like upside down, like oh. in the ice. It's, you had me at Underberg comes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Undercome. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jesus. Oh, oh, reaching, reaching new depths us, each and please. every week here at the uh, at the Cine Marijuana Theater. Chris, new thank lows. you for that. Thank you for that. We need sponsorship. Swing low. Yeah, you, yeah, thank you. I'm sure you just pushed that sponsorship about a million light years away. Underberg, I, sure get I some help either. I had a real good push on that sponsorship. <laughs> like, the, Berg, the, the, the Berg rep is going to be like, well, we were thinking about putting swastikas on our bottles, Jesus. but instead we'll... Support will will totally endorse you guys. Could be terrorists. Gonna get it. Uh, all right, <laughs> bottoms up. Let's all have a push. I hate your face, Chris. <laughs> You're such a fucker. <laughs> Underberg, when you need a push. Oh, God. <laughs> Looking at you gives me For gas. Good push. Push into an Underberg. Push oh, into yeah, it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> push Bone into it. size, ready. Oh. Come on, my face, brother. <laughs> You know, as much as you I can handle that. the, the well as... one Underberg, I don't know how the fuck they did it <laughs> the on one, the Wonderberg. <laughs> the Wonderberg, as, as how they did it on the uh, the uh, ride on the uh, the bus, the bus man, yeah, where they're know. just pounding them back. I bet it was. Oh way my fun. god, they were. Well, uh, you know, I imagine that it would be. I think that once was you it. got started, it would be, and started to get really wasted. It might be okay, but I imagine the next you you wouldn't probably be digging it. I bet their stomachs felt way good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did Kurt Cobain ever try it? What? <laughs> what? Well, wasn't he notorious with the stomach problems? Yeah. What? I, I was like, what does that have to do with a shotgun he to had the IBS, face? IBS, which I is heard, why he kept a bucket on stage. I heard Courtney actually <laughs> paid off Underberg to stop selling it in uh, Seattle. <laughs> he had. A, he kept a bucket. New on new stage. conspiracies. Okay. Uh, you heard it here first. That's it. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's Send get uh, first. Let's okay. get going uh, with uh, three minutes, three words here. Uh. Who wants to start this? I say we start with Chris. Okay. No, uh, actually, I need to go last so I can remember what this movie is about. <laughs> I'll go okay, first. I'll, okay. Well, no, then he can't. I'll go first. Well, okay, well, go, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go, go ahead. Well, no, no, no. We'll no, go first, and then we'll skip you know him. What? You know what? After you. Well, I just thought. No, no, no. Please. No, it's okay. Oh, that under burp. Fine. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> All right. Here I go. Here's my notes for this film. From night, <coughs> wait. From 1978, this film directed directed by Colin Eggleston, uh, who also made a movie called Cassandra from 1987, um, written by Everett DeRoach. I wonder if anyone ever asked him to pass DeRoach. I was just gonna say that. Oh. Uh, that was horrible. Um, who also wrote something called Road Games, um, Razorback, and Panther Partner. And by the way, Razorback and this film are considered Ozoploitation uh, classics. Are they really? Yes. They're, uh, really? Which is Australian cinema. Yeah, right. yeah. I'm a big fan of Brian Trenchard Smith, uh, his film Stunt Rock, which right. is another that's sort of, also. that's one of the cornerstones, I think, <laughs> of the <laughs> of the genre. Um, and uh, starring John Hargraves as Peter which is funny because he was kind of a dick. And Bryony Behetz or Behetz. Bryony? Bryony. B R I O N. Yeah, you know, the little girl in Atonement is named Bryony. Man, I want to fucking send that little bitch to the moon. Is it Bryony? It might be Bryony. I don't know. It's Bro- Irish, I think. Bryony. Or it's, it's English Bryony. or Irish or Scottish. Bry- like the Bryony Salty. Deep. Like a salty sea bitch. Uh, or a as, salty corn as, dog. As Marsha. Uh, all right, here's my notes on this film. She looks like a broke ass Susan George. Uh, it was because it kind of reminded me of Straw Dogs a little bit, but like it wasn't. I mean, it wasn't like Straw Dogs at all. Uh, this guy is a scarier driver than Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, he was reckless as fuck. Did you? Did anybody else notice that this Shit. guy was like the worst driver on the planet? Well, he was really good because he never crashed. That makes me too. Uh, well, okay, I yeah, guess. Hey. Right. Uh. Uh, why wasn't Mick Dundee or Jacko called in on this? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, and what a long ass weekend. Uh, so yeah, this movie is interesting. It's uh, it's sort of uh, 
it's really kind of an emotionally grueling film. It's, you're not in a happy place. Both of these people, both of these characters kind of suck, and they're in a shitty situation, and it's testing you emotionally the entire time. And it's also bumming you out because there's, like, these little tiny attacks here and there, like, where the, like some eagles giving them, like, the stink eye, and then they get bit by ants, but, like, nothing really happens. And then there's a weird van, and you're kind of just like, uh, but then she shows her tits. So, really, this movie was just only kind of, okay. it was like a lesser day of the animals for me, with more nudity. Yeah, I guess. Well, even though the, the nudity was very brief, yeah, it was. It, it, but you know, every little thing it counts. Definitely had that feel. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it was, it was, a, it was a fun, interesting. Dis- I don't know if this film because this, I think, was a Blu-ray, uh, didn't? Who yeah. puts this out? Synapse put it out. Okay, so there's obviously some fan base for this film. Yeah, so like I said, it's like a cult classic. Is this considered exploitation? exploitation yeah, as well? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just there wasn't enough in it to really hook me and make me uh, it was no stunt rock uh, you know what i mean but certainly i did think it was it was a an interesting portrayal of a, of a relationship on its sort of last legs and i felt the acrimony between the couple was very re- realistic and very believable it wouldn't surprise me to find out they actually hated each other for real <laughs> uh so i guess i really don't have much more to say about this film so i guess my three words were uh Day anim- Deo Animals Minus. Jesus. <laughs> What's going on over there? Yeah, well, really. Because it's like a lesser Day of the Animals. Yeah, that Underberg's hitting you. And, well, the Day of the Animals is four fucking words on its own. So how can I reference the film in within three words? Deo De La Animals. Just, without... just say Deo Animals. Deo. Well, Deo. That's what I said. Deo Animals Minus. What's the minus? Because it's it's it's. Not as good. Long lesser. weekend is like, yeah, it's minus. It's not as good. It's less. Oh. You should have just put to... lesser than and then like. I think yeah, you need lesser than symbol. symbol. Okay. Yeah. It's time for me to That's STF you. Thinking. All right, Condi. Oh, we're, not, we're not having Kenzie go yeah, at all? what about me? But she didn't I see I have three see words for this. Okay, right. Sam. Is my mic on? Oh, well, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your words. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. Put your headphones on, you know. My three words are will never watch. Okay, there you go. Sounds boring AF. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Okay, Gandhi, your turn. Man, I, this movie is like, reminds me that everybody gets like one flop. Zeb, uh, Zeb's usually a pretty uh, a pretty hard hitter. Yeah, like I believe mine was probably the secret of Nim this time around. You mean you think yours is going to be on the bottom of the pile? Oh, yeah. See, but I think Secret of the Nim was a good choice. No, I, I think it was a good movie, choice. Yeah. But I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I wouldn't I, fault you on, on Secret of the Nim. I, I, I didn't I, like it. I, I don't. Yeah. I don't fault. I don't fault my pick on it. And like, and I still very much enjoyed the movie. But you know, I I I think it may have been like as picks as a whole my weakest pick. Well, where I where I think this will definitely be. Oh, set. I see what you mean. Yeah. I see what you mean. Okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> because like, and I, I agree with you, Ed. And like, you could feel the tension between the couple. But it's it's really only the dude that's trying to do anything about it. She just, you know, is being stereotypical of like, I don't want to talk about it. I want to go off and be with my friends and I'd be shopping right now. And it's pretty much like, bitch, I brought you here because I want to, you know, fix this. I want this to just be you and me instead of, you know, everything else being out in the ether. Well, we definitely won't talk about anything. You know, yeah, but I mean, I suppose it's possible she was at this point. She might be at like her, you know, absolute sort of wit's end. She's done so. That's what I mean. Then why like, yeah. she, she should already checked then she out. She should have never even gone. Dude, but don't it, act like that never happens in couples. Oh no, no, no. no. It, it happens. That's what I'm but saying. Like I like a, a, a lot sides. of couples. Yeah, they it's like people people get used to a situation so they'll stay together even though they pretty much would murder the other one. Yeah. Well, no, she she wanted it, you know? the money. You know, she was there for the money cuz she got to buy all of her stuff and she she talked about shopping a couple of times. I think she was still giving it a go. To a certain extent, but you I know, mean, she not. was there. Yeah, she was there. She was there, and like she was into it for like half a second, but then not really. And she uh, she was into herself though. And then I I don't know if I would have enjoyed this movie more if I was from Australia or Australian. You know, uh, they talk about this being you know one of their exploitation movies because like I I don't know if there's any like you know Candyman or Bloody Mary kind of like uh folklore to maybe a beach out there or something like that that does this right. or you know you know and there might those, be some you know sort of lo- locally yeah. famous haunted beach or something where, where like oh, they when no, they're almost there 
Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Dude, it, it worked. It worked. Good Power call. Up. Going last. And, uh, you know, they tell him, like, oh, there's not really a beach there, or there's not this there, but he gets there, and there's a really nice beach there and everything, and an exact spot to camp, and... You know, then there's the mysterious other, like, you know, van or whatever. It's just like, you know. It is loosely based on um, <clears throat> a Scooby-Doo episode, Scooby-Doo and the Spooky Beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I've seen that episode. I it's wonder classic. what it cost them to acquire the wasn't rights it, to that. Wasn't it like uh, Old Man Herman? Or it was something? Old Man Herman. The yeah. Harlem Globetrotters also helped who were cut from the movie. They are in the director's cut. Yeah, they, they were on the cutting room floor for a while. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I definitely like after a while when the dude sees it, it's not working. He was just a dick <laughs> to her like the entire time, and I, yeah, I definitely did not enjoy this movie. Hmm. You know, I'm not sad that I watched it. What are we doing, Harry Potter now? Or? No, we're doing Long Weekend. Remember, you just remember it was fucking up. high. Are you? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. Okay, the Connor. Dap Master over there. <laughs> Dapster. Dapster. Go ahead. Dapster. Um, I don't. Where was I at? Even you were about to give you three words. Oh, my three words wait, were. Wait, wait, wait! In an Australian accent. Right. For authenticity. Right. Uh, weekend too long. That was really okay. good. <laughs> that was really convincing. <laughs> Mushroom tip dip. <laughs> Crikey! <laughs> Wants wait, to wait, see wait, my wait, wiener. Yeah. Uh, okay, oh. Raúl. Uh, <clears throat> so this movie's actually been on my list for a while. Uh, there's a great documentary on exploitation films called Not Quite Hollywood. And this one pops up along with oh, one called see that. Patrick, um, the one you keep talking about with the wizards. Patrick. This guy did Patrick. It doesn't say oh, Patrick. Right. It says Patrick. Yeah, Patrick's Patrick. That's dope. what I wrote. I can't read. I can't, horrible. It is. It's the worst. Uh. Um, uh, just anyway, so, so this popped up. There's also a remake with the great Jim Caviezel. Well, okay. So then this guy, Everett DeRoach, he's kind of king shit of exploitation <laughs> no. Aussie Mountain yeah. I'm sure of it I wouldn't be surprised man three credits like this but yeah they, they have some weird stuff coming out I, I dug this movie I didn't love it but um, I think it's kind of cool when you have a horror film that's more about the people and the relationships than just the situation and predicament so sure that coupled with everything being completely shit house is kind of a draw for me that it's it, it's slow but you can't deny that the tension isn't there because it's completely there. Even though it may not pay off, it's definitely there still. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. So, yeah. Uh, man, there's there's not really a whole lot to say. There's some cool animals in here. The little guy with the big old ears, boy. <laughs> oh, dude. That, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that guy. Yeah. Uh, ants were spooky. Oh, for sure. There's a van. Yeah. That, the, even the van got spooky. We'll come after her, a dugong or something. Yeah. Come, a dead one. Oh, that part was pretty fucking nuts. Uh, what? That, that was dead, so weird. Yeah. Like, yeah. Seal thing. That was nuts. Yeah. And, then it, and then there was like the crazy howling it was doing. Yeah. So I don't know. It did some great stuff. I mean, I did, it yeah. obviously it was, was just kind of cool slow. Stuff, I guess. Um, I don't know. It was, it was different for the time, I think, too. Yeah. So I liked it. All My right. three words, um, Australian seems fucked. <laughs> Dude, the Outback is designed to kill humans. Yeah. All those crazy animals and shit. All right, Chris. All right. Your turn now mm. that you've had your mm. memory refreshed. Yeah. I, I, I yeah, I guess the, the two week <laughs> gap was a little bit too much for my already taxed memory. Um We but, figured it would have been silly to try to do this in the middle of the Harry Potter thing. No, yeah, there's no way but uh yeah, uh, I I think I think I liked it. It was a little weird. <laughs> uh, I remember just thinking like uh, the whole time I was kind of just thinking, trying to find uh, similarities or differences between the last movie because they were kind of the same theme. I don't know. I guess maybe that's the fault of the theme. Actually, is that uh, it might be tough to get around. Well, I think, these two I think, were the most similar. Yeah, yeah for sure. Well, I mean, except in, in this one, you didn't have like Very, rapey Leslie Nielsen. Not yet. That, well, that yeah, would, which that would have made a bit of awesome. a bummer. <laughs> that yeah. dugong basically was his. Uh, yeah, was that been rad if he had not showed up in the middle of the movie? Oh man, like started raping everybody, just raping that dugong, raping, just raping the shit out of that dugong. Oh, that's terrible. Then why do you <laughs> rape? Oh, um, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, it, yeah, animals versus people. Uh, this is a weird fucking way to do it. Uh, that was kind of my thoughts. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> the animals were a little passive aggressive. It was weird. Yeah, it seemed like they were just trying to spook him more than anything. Kind of like, get out of here, kids. Like a rattlesnake rattling its tail. They were like yeah. trying to warn them. Well, it kind of right. correlated with how they were being shitty, and as their shittiness grew towards nature, nature's shittiness grew oh. towards the people. Yeah, I guess so. You yeah. could look at it that way. It was sort of a. 
It was because this was actually almost one of my picks. <laughs> okay, but I was like, it's too nature. I don't know. It's still. I think it's valid. But it's just like it's a little too naturey. I wanted more animally. Right. Huh. Sorry, Chris. Oh, just, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, no, man. man. <laughs> Are we struggling cool? to find Dude. three minutes? <laughs> I'll help you. Uh, <laughs> I got you. It was yeah. <laughs> It's Which just weird? Can I ask me, you a honestly. question then? Yeah, definitely. What Lincoln yeah. Park song do you think would fit best for this film? <laughs> All not of them. necessarily just the credits, but even over All a, a certain them. part. I think Falling. Okay, I, don't know I think the one where the dude goes, uh. The one where the one guy sings kind of <laughs> poorly and then the other guy like raps. I have a poorly. question for Chris. That's good. At, okay. You know, if his memory's jogged enough, you know. Yeah. Uh, sure, let's try it. Do you think he brought, you know, they brought this all upon themselves or the dude brought like this, like whatever's happening upon them when he hits that uh, kangaroo in the beginning of the movie? Uh, no. Like that I don't sets think the, the wheels any... a turning? No. I don't believe that anybody should think that if you hit a kangaroo, a dugong will creep you for a, fucking <laughs> <laughs> for a week. If that's... that's the way the world works, I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I just had no idea that like they would have that kind of a relationship the ruse and the do ba- the do backs the two gongs <laughs> The uh, the, <laughs> the ruse Jesus. and the dugongs. I, I, I wonder I, if there's any rugongs. Yeah, well, maybe they Cross were trying to make hi- one. Hybrid rugongs. Maybe that's what this dude that's interrupted. A, a sci-fi movie coming out. Rugong. Rugong. Turn of the zombie rugongs. Dude, yeah. you heard that one here first. That's it. That's Exclusive. my three words. Rugong. Oh, zombie rugongs. <laughs> rugongs is going to be two words. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. All right. So we've confirmed that this movie is not based on a true story, right? I'm, well, uh, how well, could it not be? Is this not it. the story of everybody that's died in Australia? <laughs> no, I mean, no, have, have they not been no consumed no spiders, no by the outback? Raped by some animal and oh. then dead? Or yeah. left I for mean, dead? Dude, you saw Crocodile Dundee, man. That guy, it, it's like shit's flying at him from every fucking direction down there. Walkabout? You got to, motherfuckers got to learn how to drink from out of the sand. Yeah. You got to shit dance. is trying to you kill do you down there. The they down even try to get quickly down under, man. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he packs heat. Yeah. And the rest of the very pro gun guy. Mm-hmm. Are you guys so just naming up, Australian though. movies at this point? I is think that, is that, isn't that what we're. I don't know. Was what? quickly down under actually Australian? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. There was an American in Australia. Just like everybody else in the world except for you, I never saw it. Tom Selleck actually immigrated to Australia for that movie. Did he really? It was probably because they had more relaxed gun laws. Dual citizenship. Yeah, he's an open carry kind of guy. He is. I think he's a been a big NRA guy. Yeah, at yeah. least him and I know him and Rosie O'Donnell got into it that time. Two of the world's most popular men just going at yeah, it. Dude, yeah, dude, fucking toe to toe, mano a mano. All right. Uh, well, so yeah. Uh, Jesus, I mean, should we reflect on? I mean, what should we talk about about this flick? Uh, it's been two weeks. Uh, so actually, there was so much going on with the Harry Potter thing. I actually didn't have any. I didn't have a chance to really write any questions down for this. I had a lot of good questions. Really. Did, did you really? What Smash Mouth song do you guys think would go good? Or oh, <laughs> dude, you can't go wrong. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, it's obviously All Star, right? I mean, we're not, on the same no, page. it's uh, Walking oh, on the Moon. Oh, there's walking more than on one. On oh moon. shit, those are... isn't it on the sun? Oh like, yeah, walking on yeah on the sun. Yeah, oh, call yourself man. a fan. Actually, I'm sorry. There we I'm go. Sorry, I got corrected by a super fan. Kept my fucking mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, so like on the serious tip though, I feel like the other film, Kenzie's pick, kind of set a precedent where that movie's like really fun, and this movie takes itself too seriously. So I think that's where some of the negative backlash I, comes from. I think from so also. too, but I, 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 dare I suggest, even after I kind of panned it. Does that make this – because when we conceived of this theme, obviously, as we might have talked about before, uh, one of the immediate questions was, is like, name an Oscar-nominated animal antagonist film. Jaws, like, right. well, uh, okay, I guess – okay, right. Well, sort of – that's kind of why we ended up doing it because we were like, yeah. can this be elevated? Can this be more than just like some – a bunch of cheese ball shit, right? So is it possible that despite my relative dislike of Long Weekend, because possibly I disliked it because it made me uncomfortable because I've been on this Long Weekend before (laughs) with fewer animal attacks, uh, does that make it actually, is it actually the better film and higher art than Day of the Animals? Not, I I don't, not because it lacked the lightheartedness or whatever. I just don't think the flow was there in this movie. 
And then, yeah, I mean, you'll always have, like, couples trying to work on their relationships. You had the couple in Day of the Animals working on their relationship. Yeah. The ones that went off and, like, the chick was killed by the eagles or whatever. Yeah. Um, that was, that was so dope. Yeah. Vultures, yeah. That there was sick. Yeah, so that was pretty tight. I mean, that was, a, that was a great scene. But in this one, you got this couple and you got this dude that wanders off on his own just shooting off his gun or whatever. And he doesn't even tell his wife about, like, the van that he found that possibly has, like, some sort of body in it. Yeah, that's true. You know, until like the very end. And then he doesn't even really tell her that. He's just all like, we're going here real I, quick. I feel like part yeah. of that film, too, is is the fact that you have these awful characters. Oh, like they they're are, both pretty they're both awful. They're both awful people. Shitty. Yeah. So I don't know if necessarily that's... that's I would I would say that's a fault. I mean, that's just his character. is just he's a piece of shit all around. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah I definitely... Uh, like, even when sort of in situations, I think, where he kind of is... I don't want to say the victim, but where you kind of sort of are leaning to his side on kind of an issue, any sort of redemption the character has uh, engendered for himself in your mind, he immediately demolishes five seconds later when he does something incredibly yeah. stupid. But I think it's really good at going back and forth between making you feel for the one person and then versus the other. Like when she yeah. talks about how she got rid of the baby, you're like, fuck, dude. Yeah. So that explains some of the weirdness on her side and. Yeah, yeah, and it, 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 it's it's kind of it interesting. Looks fucking weird. It, like because in a way th- that's such a normal kind of not normal but a realistic kind of a story. Meanwhile, you know, Rugong's yeah. corpse is crawling <laughs> out of the fucking ocean to eat your ass. Well, and I don't know why they were trying to not work so on much. it anyway because I think they were both cheating at this point. Well, but but is that not because that's sort of like a script people follow? What if they no, were just what, eating? Like they kind of, I uh, almost hint at it. Like there's that chick in the beginning he's talking to before he takes off, off. and then there's the person on the phone that she's talking to, which you could you know the, it's genderless, but you could presume it's a dude the way she's talking. Right. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I think the infidelity is definitely. I mean, you you can without being it shown it explicitly, like you know what's going on. It's palpable. You could taste the other people. Yeah, yeah. I, and I mean, I, I think I think that's part of. I think that maybe the, for me, like this is a like I don't know why you're bothering to work this out. Yeah, like if, if there is no baby, they're both they both are relatively young. They both are relatively attractive. Uh, I don't see any reason other than the the a typical uh, psychological human failings. For them to be together, and the idea that they would kind of want to work—I don't know—I just when 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 I just feel like when people have so many options, why would you waste this kind of fucking time on something that's like dead? Clearly, yeah, people always dead. do though. Like even in situations like this, we all know it and we all seen it. I know, you know? Like, I know. But people in these dead relationships—they like, they try their. That's like the last digit. Well, that's like, that's what they're used yeah. to. They know, you know, it's the known versus the unknown. But the, if you thing. got, I can understand if you look like fucking John Merrick or something. You know what I mean? And like, you're like, well, dude, I can't believe I found somebody that's actually into me. Like, whoa! <laughs> if you if you're actually a person with options, burn clinic for John Merrick. If you will, I mean, okay, man. let's face it, man. He's he he his fucking face looked like one of those fucking Bisquick muffins. Look, if Edward James almost he can find someone, one, anyone can. Uh, well, so <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If you are because the, there's nothing wrong with either one of these people. If you are the kind of person that has options, like. How do you not at some point go when things are that that nasty? How do you not be like, you know what, Pff, dude, fuck this? Unless there's some ulterior motive, like, dude's got money. Yeah, well, she's know, probably like, the like dude's that. got money, and he's probably like, I don't want to have to pay this bitch alimony. What is that syndrome? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, okay. I guess that that Maybe is like a, that is a definite chapters. potential motivator Stockholm. is, is Stockholm. financial. Stockholm syndrome, where you start to side with your captors, yeah, like the Poughkeepsie tape. You know, like the, yeah, this isn't the Incredibles. Setting. The only person, the only person I felt bad about in this movie was that pupper. Yeah, and that's oh. not even a person. Oh, dude. Yeah, and it's yeah. not because I even Caught like animals middle. more than like dogs, but you know, just the two people in this were just need to be called, and they were. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I personally would have liked to have seen more savagery on behalf of the animals, especially because, I mean, if you think about it, the Australian wilderness is a real, is a, is a Pokedex come to life, <laughs> yeah. like Pokedex incarnate. I mean, all of the craziest beasts on the planet 
except for the ones that live in those fucking volcanoes well, under what the do ocean. They have? Like the uh, top what, what five they most have? venomous creatures in the world. That's what I'm saying. Even their fucking ducks are trying to kill your ass with poison, right? <laughs> venomous ducks. At least so the male like, ones. So like, could Drop I mean? Bears. Did anybody else besides me feel like we just needed more animal savagery in this? Then it would have oh, been yeah. that other movie. You know, this. Is, well, no, that, because I think you could have trumped Day of the Animals too. Day of the that's that is that is where, where were they in um, like California or Yellowstone or something? Day of the Animals. What do you got? Some bald eagles, a, a brown bear. Well, you Come had on. you had the great like Come snakes, on, you know, lion on, attacks. Like, you got yeah. you got in the outback black mambas. And fucking no, there's not. You got tigers and kangaroos and aardvarks and fucking platypuses. Well, I mean, there's there's lots of things I mean, that they could have had attack, and like everything was like you know started off as like passive aggressive, like oh this could happen at any picnic attack kind of thing. Like when he starts right. fucking with the little uh, I can't remember the name. I want to say kinkajou on that was on the table, or right. whatever that he gets bit by. Yeah, you know the the ants that are there. It's like. This could happen to anybody, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, I, I, sp- I felt like we spent like 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 a great amount of time like with the eagle. Like they like s- we we get a shot of the eagle like he's gonna do something, and then he like takes a shit on the windshield. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, hey, don't forget I'm here. Pretty nefarious, but, though. Yeah. Well, okay. Spice sure. Shit. Sure. Yeah. I mean, well, maybe not so much in a land where there, where there are no car washes. Uh, but um, well, uh, I mean, it, the eagle had its had its right. I mean, she stole the eggs, man. I, yeah, or, dude, whoever man, took the and that made, I was like, "You fucking idiot!" Like, there's no reason. To, I don't know these characters. There's no reason to like these yeah, characters. And, and it's it's not so much like it needed to be like super savage. I think it needed to be more out of place attacks than rather like you know attacks that could happen. Well, I mean, couldn't you have like a kangaroo straight like just disembowel him or something like with the with because those those like feet. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, you can just. And Fucked kangaroos up. too. Kangaroos too. Like they used to box them and shit. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, like, if we're gonna get exploitative or exploitive, whichever is the correct, w- let's have a. Why doesn't he go toe to toe with like the Roo, or something? You know what I mean? Instead of just there's a like a a dugong who moves like six inches overnight. I mean, yeah, okay, he's a zombie. Who the fuck is Daisy Damagu? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I guess maybe it's just me. No, I the attacks were you know it, it's it was definitely like you know I, I wouldn't even say animal versus man. It was a nature yeah. versus man. I mean, yeah, you had the animals that were like doing the outright attacks, but what confused them was the most is you know remember they're always saying like didn't we already pass this tree? Didn't we already get there? You know, and everything. So kept the implication going in is that there's something sort of supernatural yeah, at exactly. work behind the scenes as well. I always hate that shit in movies. Well, man, because where they, they drive straight, and then they're just like, "I already passed this fucking." Yeah, office. yeah. Well, be, especially because like the you don't, they, they don't yeah. really develop that sort of supernatural angle too much, other than the fact they were that the probably by are, like a the well, the, the only supernatural thing with the animals on it was the, the zombie dugong. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. pretty spooky though. It is. No, I'm not saying that's not spooky. I wouldn't want that like. You know, whatever it does coming up on me. There's a, yeah, you know, the old uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. There's one about uh, some people that hear like some scary guy like singing off in the distance and it keeps getting like closer. And that kind of reminded me of that with like the song. And then he was like, oh, shit, he's on the beach. Like, oh, shit, he's outside my tent. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, all right. Well, does anybody have anything they'd like to add to this pen pen ultimate? I got a couple things I'd like to take back. Um, that you enjoyed this movie you want to put your demands out there (laughs) yeah no i'm just kidding um yeah we've got uh two selections left in this theme which we'll be seeing one of tonight raul and chris uh you guys have uh our final two combatants in this cinematic arena (laughs) (laughs) thank you yeah i um i'm curious to find out what we're going to uh what we're going to see tonight and then will there be any shunting that, dude, no. that would be not, a no. shit. Yeah. And then we'll uh, wrap this up, and we'll have a free for all round next. And oh, that's right, it is a free for all round. Yeah. So we don't need the new theme exactly yet. Ah, oh, look at me busting your balls for no for reason. Nothing for nothing, but uh, it's fun anyway. That's all right. Free for all is almost worse because <laughs> I bust. have like ten things I want to pick, and I just don't I already have my pick them. for the free for all. So. so that's fine. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Long weekend, 1978. Check it out. Who'd you say put it out? Synapse. Synapse. The Blue Great Ray. transfer. Looks yeah. Marvelous. It, it, it was. did look really nice. Yeah. I, yeah. I'll definitely give it that. They don't yeah. fuck around for, for sure. For, for a shitty movie, it looked good. And there was a good number of uh, bonus features as well. 
I think, as well. Yeah, they so did it's a good, good. It's a good Knocked release. Knocked it out of the park. All right, Five well, stars from Fangoria, by the way, on that release. Excellent. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I saw one of their fucking... They did a top 25 horror movies poll, dude. No, I don't want to know. Fuck that. Nah, it know. was atrocious. All right. For the Cinema I Want a Theater, I'm Ed. I'm Kenzie. I'm Condi. I'm Raul. I'm Chris. We'll be back next week with more goodness. 